بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Dear listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He deserves to be praised. We seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil of our souls and the adverse consequences of our deeds. Respected elders and brothers, my dear mothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of all things. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants a special status and rank to certain things over others. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all the days in the week. And He granted importance and a special status to the day of Jumu'ah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَفْضَلُ يَوْمٍ طَلَعَتْ عَلَيْهِ الشَّمْسُ يَوْمُ الْجُمُعَةِ That the best day upon which the sun rises is the day of Jumu'ah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all the days of the year and He granted a special status to the day of Arafah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all the nights of the year and granted importance to the night of decree and power. Laylatul Qadr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in regards to it Laylatul Qadr Khayrun min alfi shahr That the night of power and decree Is better than a thousand months Wallahu yakhluku ma yasha wa yakhtar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates whatever he wishes And he grants a special status To certain things over others with this brief introduction, dear listeners, allow me to introduce to you our guest for this evening. And indeed, this guest is from the special things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This guest is a season of worship, just as Ramadan was a season of worship for the believers, just as the day of Jumu'ah becomes a season of worship for the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us towards the end of the Muslim calendar, the first 10 days of the Hijjah. La ilaha illallah. How merciful is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That He grants us opportunity after opportunity to worship Him in these seasons. And as a result, we are able to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins. And we are able to take from the vast and abundant gifts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has in store for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is truly most deserving of all praise. Dear listeners, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us the importance of the first 10 days of the Hijjah as taught to us by Ibn Kathir in his famous tafsir when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took an oath by these days. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَالْفَجَرْ وَلَيَالٍ عَشَرٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, رَبُّ الْعِزَّةِ وَالْجَلَالِ الْوَاحِدُ الْقَهَّارِ After taking an oath by the dawn, he takes an oath by the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not take an oath except by that which has a great importance and a very high esteem. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam further taught us the importance of these 10 days when he mentioned to the Sahaba radiallahu anhum ajma'een that there are no better days upon which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except these days, the 10 days of the Hijjah. So the Sahaba radiallahu anhum ajma'een asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Ya Rasulullah, not even jihad and striving in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied and said not even jihad and striving in the path of Allah except for an individual who goes out with himself and his wealth endangering himself and does not return that is he spends his wealth in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is martyred la ilaha illallah subhanallah subhanalladhi fataha li'ibadihi abwab al-rahamat all praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who opened upon his worshippers his doors of mercy may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us 
the ability to understand the importance of these days and accept from us our worship and grant us the strength to exert ourselves during this very special season of worship. Dear listeners, the ulama have explained to us the etiquettes and the code of conduct as taught to us by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A Muslim should indulge himself during these days and indulge herself during these days. We should take wholesale from the many blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has in store for us. Imam al-Nawawi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him, mentions to us how recommended it is to fast during the first nine days of the hijjah and notice that I say nine days of the hijjah not ten because fasting on the tenth day is totally prohibited as it is the day of Eid so we as Muslims as worshippers of one Allah Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal and followers of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam should strive to fast during these nine days whether it be all the nine days or whether it be every second day or whether it be the Mondays and Thursdays uh, the Mondays and Thursdays that exist within these nine days or if we are unable to fast due to our several or various commitments then at least we should fast or try and fast the ninth of Dhul Hijjah a day whereby Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that a person who fasts the ninth of Dhul Hijjah then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive his sins from the previous year and the following year Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la two years of sins Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive for a person who fasts one day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from amongst those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven two years of sins and all his sins for his or her striving during these days. Respected elders and brothers, my dear mothers and sisters, we should strive as well to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala excessively. We should keep our tongues moist with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for indeed a moist tongue keeps us away from the evils of the tongue such as backbiting, such as lying, such as being vulgar, such as slandering and gossiping. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. These days can actually be a school for a believer to train himself or herself towards keeping their tongue in order. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Ahzab advises us towards remembering him excessively and he says Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu uzkuru allaha dhikran kathira Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O oh, you who believe remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala excessively excessively la ilaha illallah how beautiful it is to remember Allah and who is more deserving of being remembered other than Allah Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal Al Wahid Al Qahar Imam Bukhari may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his mercy upon him mentions to us that Ibn Umar and Abu Huraira radiallahu anhum used to actually go into the markets during these days of the Hijjah and say out aloud the takbir thus causing other people in the market to say out the takbir aloud as well subhanallah and in the hadith of ibn umar we are taught to increase in saying alhamdulillah which is the tahmeed and allahu akbar which is the takbir and la ilaha illallah our declaration of faith may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to do so i mean we should also try the listeners to increase in our non-voluntary salawat and for the men we should try and ensure that we render our salawat in the masajid with the imam from takbiratul ihram and we should also try and increase our non-voluntary worship as rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam beautifully said that a person doesn't put his head down for the sake of allah in prostration except that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives their sins and raises them in rank La ilaha illallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins and raise us in rank and enter us into Jannah with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Respected elders and brothers, time does not permit. However, there are several acts of worship that we can engage in and we don't really need to delve into them right now because Ramadan just passed us and we heard hadith after hadith and lesson after lesson and night after night 
of the several ways that we can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and take wholesale from the blessings of Allah Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal before I end off I'd like to advise one and all towards asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness indeed we are all weak we are all prone to sin Kullu bani Adam khatta wa khayrul khatta ina tawabun Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said all the children of Adam are sinners but the best of those who sin are the ones that ask for forgiveness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assist us in asking Him for forgiveness. My dear mother, my dear father, my dear brother and sister, never lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never feel it is too late. As long as we are breathing, it is a chance for us to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a chance for, uh, for us to redeem ourselves. And it is a chance for us to seek forgiveness from Allah, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. I end off with an ayah that the ulama say is the ayah of hope. And it is the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَقُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الدُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to tell all the slaves, all the worshippers of Allah who have sinned and sinned and might have lost hope because of their sin. What does Allah tell him to tell us? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He tells him to tell us, لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله. Don't ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إن الله يغفر الظنوب جميعا. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive our sins wholesale. Subhanallah. إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful and the most forgiving. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May He accept our worship. May He assist us in striving during these 10 days, taking wholesale from the abundant gifts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has in store for us. May He assist us in performing the hajj and may He accept our hajj, grant us a hajj that has no reward except Jannah. For those who have performed their hajj, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your hajj. For those who haven't, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your appointment for traveling to the Holy Lands to perform this Hajj sooner rather than later. I love you all for the sake of Allah and I hope to speak to you again very soon. Everything correct mentioned in this broadcast is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and any mistakes are from myself and Shaytan and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his forgiveness.